What's going on, people? It's Shen. Guess what? It's here, and I couldn't wait to open it. Yes, the GPD Pocket. I actually have it. Finally got one. Um, actually came from GearBest, and I'll put a link in the description below just in case you want to order one of these units or you want to see other GPD products here. I don't get anything from the links below, but hey, it would be nice if I did, but I don't, so it's all good. Now, I'm planning on doing a couple of videos about this product, and I'll probably do it in sections here. So if you have any suggestions on what you want me to try to do with this or anything you want me to run on there to see how good it runs or what it can and cannot do, just go ahead and send me a message or leave a comment but please make it reasonable because this is not a desktop replacement okay now as you can tell from the box it comes in it's pretty simple but it's still very very classy at least to me it is uh, you got a gpt logo on the top uh, you also have it on two of the sides and you got the product name which is pocket on the other side there and there's nothing on the bottom of the box here so open it up you got the unit you have a wall adapter and you have the USB-C cable. You see that there's a Windows 10 key that's also inside in the case, just in case you have to reload Windows on a device here. And if you have Ubuntu on it, then you're not going to have a key on it. You can just install that, whatever. Um, then you have the manual that's underneath the unit as well. But mm, why the hell would I even look at that, really? The keyboard, it takes a little while to get used to, but it has necessary keys on it for the functionality and the operation of it because some of the keys are usually missing like the escape button or the power button something like that so at least you know you have all the buttons you were, you're probably going to need for it it also has a few extra ones just for volume up volume down things of that nature all right now as you can tell some of the keys are kind of grouped together you'll have like a couple of groups of threes here and there and that will take a little while to get used to at least for me it will especially when you're trying to type in dark or low levels because i have a feeling i'm going to hit the wrong button on a regular regular basis here this is where backlighting keyboard would have definitely been very very good at i was kind of hoping there was at least an option for it but i guess we have to wait to the next pocket version to come out maybe for that or at least come some kind of cover for the keyboard which now nah, i can't see that happening either really you have the mouse buttons at the very bottom of the keyboard and it splits up your spacebar and that's kind of weird to be coming to because sometimes i find myself clicking on the spacebar button instead of clicking on the mouse button where i should be here pop button top right corner and it actually has a small orange led light when it's charging and it also has a white light that's usually if it's in standby mode and you also see it when you're actually booting up the device the keys actually have a pretty good travel distance on there uh, for those who like a little depth in their keyboard makes it so you don't actually hit keys that you don't really want to though now on the front side there's really nothing on the left side nothing on the back side of the unit when it's closed also nothing but on the right side that's where we have our ports now you got the usb c on here used for charging i think you can actually use some other stuff on there i actually don't have any other usb c devices here so i can't try that out you have your mini hmi you have your headphone jack and you have your USB 3.0 here. And you also see a vent right there. You also have another vent on the bottom of the unit. Now, even with the vents on there at the top, oh, well, I'll say the vent on the bottom and on the side, you don't really hear this so much. Um, right now, I've only been doing very, very light usage on here, and you can barely hear the fan. Like, if you have your AC running, the chances of you hearing the fan are pretty much slim right there. The display is actually really, really good. You can see it from a lot of viewing angles, which is actually kind of different. I haven't really have too many computers that don't start changing the um, well monitors that don't start changing the colors and everything when you hit a certain angle and stuff like that so at least i'm knocking that that's pretty good there especially for watching movies or videos things of that nature now the colors may seem a little bit oversaturated for some for me it's all right but i can definitely tell like it's a little bit way too much punch of colors there's no tweaking that i've done to it there will probably be some kind of color management that you can actually be able to tone it down if you prefer to i know most people probably wouldn't now the one thing i do not like about the keyboard and the screen combined is when you actually close it and then you reopen it sometimes you'll actually will automatically have like a right click menu show up and i've seen this happen more and more and more so i don't know if there's anything specific that can be done about it i mean you could put a little bit of felt uh, you could put a little bit of like a felt tip maybe a little cushion 
that would stop that from happening, especially if it does anything really annoying that may mess up any work that you're doing right there. Um, so far, it hasn't done it to me, but like I said, it's been a lot of light work that I've used on this so far. Now, the speakers on here are pretty average. They can get pretty loud, but not really anything way out, way out there or anything like that. Um, they're decent. They're not great. You're not going to get a lot of bass, and I don't think much anyone would be surprised. It's kind of weird because you do not see where the speakers are at, so it almost seems like the music or the sound is coming just from inside it. So there's a chance that it could be muffled, and I'm pretty sure some of it's probably coming through some of the ports and the vents there. I've, I have tried covering up the ports and vents, but the music still actually comes through with no problem. So we'll see how that goes going on. Now the overall feel of the unit is actually pretty solid. I mean, I could probably throw this and at least break a window or probably if it hit somebody, crack a bone or something like that. So it has a very, very hefty feel to it. And I'm pretty sure that's due to the battery in it. I uh, haven't got through testing the battery yet, but so far with light usage, I can pretty much go at least about three days on a single charge which is kind of good for me, especially with light uses. That means maybe a little bit of YouTube, email in, working on some documents, really, really light work like that. Nothing that's greatly CPU intensive or anything like that. With a little bit of light uses that I have done so far, it, the unit will get a little bit or slightly warm, but it's not uncomfortable or anything like that. It's just noticeable. And it seems to only be in the little bit of corner where the vents are at on the top of that keyboard part right there where you see the alt control at that's about it right there where the arrows are at that's the only part so far that hasn't really got warm to me now one of the things i did want to do because the thing is called the pocket i wanted to see if this would fit in my pockets and it definitely does it does fit in my short pocket and it definitely fits in my jean pockets from the pictures you'll see it's not much bigger than my phone which i have the a9 pro samsung galaxy a9 pro and it's not much bigger than that. And this would easily fit in my pocket. The only problem so far I have experienced with the unit so far is connecting it to HDMI out. I've used the exact same cable that I've used with my other computers that have mini HDMI out. It'll work for about one second and then it'll click off and then Windows 10 will freeze. The only thing I can do is just reboot, reboot the whole machine and then I'm back to work. But every time I connect to HDMI out, I have that same problem. If anyone knows any kind of fix for that or anything like that, please let me know. I'm happy to try it because I really want to see how this would do on a big screen. Now, I do look forward to testing this unit even more. Um, I'm probably going to try a couple of games on it. One of the main games I usually always try on every computer I have is Unreal Tournament 2004 because I still play that quite a bit. So it should be able to handle that with no problem, especially with the specs that this thing has here. Now, this thing would definitely turn some heads and people will be, whoa, what is that? Especially if you just pull out your pocket and all, all of a sudden you start typing on it, you connect a mouse to it. And this is definitely an eye catcher right here. So I'll be interested to see what all I can really do with this comfortably. Again, if you have any suggestions on what you want me to try with this unit, please let me know, give me a message, send me a comment, whichever way, let me know. And I'll be happy to try it out. Again, as long as it's within reason, don't go anything too fancy with me here. All right, this is Shin. I'm out.